click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends let us do common size income statement and balance sheet of a business which is not a company it may be a proprietary concern or partnership firm how to do common size statement of such organization let us learn now prepare common size financial statement in a form suitable for analysis summary balance sheet cash current asset debtors current asset prepaid expenses current asset stock current asset other current asset current asset fixed assets fixed assets sundry creditors current liabilities outstanding expenses current liabilities loans borrowed funds capital owners funds reserves owners funds summary income statement for the year ending 31st march 2004 31st march mm-hmm. 2014 summary income statement for the year ending 31st march 2014 net sales that will be the first item income cost of goods sold this will be deducted from sales to arrive at gross profit selling over its selling expenses part of operating expenses administration and general expenses part of operating expenses other income non operating income taxes less from net profit before tax loss on sale of investments non operating expense or loss net income that is surplus we have to start with first net sales 3 17250 cost of goods sold 177750 we are required to deduct this from sales to arrive at gross profit gross profit we have 139500 from this we are required to deduct operating expenses first we are required to consider office and admin expenses administration and general expenses it is 23000 next we have selling and distribution expenses <clears throat> next we have selling and distribution expenses selling over its 90000 we can find out total operating expenses by adding these two values total operating expenses 113000 this will be deducted from gross profit operating net profit we have 26500 
to this we are required to add non operating income here we have other income 3000 less non operating loss loss on sale of investments 12000 net profit before tax 17500 tax 8500 Finally, we got net income 9000. We have completed vertical income statement. Let us prepare common size. For preparing common size, we are required to take net sales as 100. Procedure is simple. Any value in income statement we can take and convert into percentage for example cost of goods sold 177750 177750 divided by 317250 multiplied by 100 it is 56.03% fifty six point zero three per cent gross profit one lakh thirty nine thousand divided by three lakh seventeen thousand two fifty multiplied by hundred forty three point nine seven per cent similarly we can calculate for all other values office and administration expenses twenty three thousand divided by 3,17,250 multiplied by 100 selling and distribution expenses 28.37 percent total operating expenses 35.62 percent Operating net profit 8.35% Other income 0.95% Loss on sale of investment 3.78% Net profit before tax 5.52% Tax 2.68% Net income 2.84% We have completed common size We have completed common size income statement Let us proceed for balance sheet common size balance sheet as on 31st March 2014 this is a balance sheet of proprietary or partnership type of company where we don't have share capital so here instead of writing shareholders fund we are writing here owners fund in owners fund first item we have capital Capital one lakh sixty four thousand five hundred. 
to that we are going to add reserves 25,000. Capital plus reserves, owner's fund we got 1,89,500. Next we are required to consider borrowed funds or loan funds. Loans we have 56,250. We can arrive at capital employed by adding owner's fund and borrowed funds. Total capital employed 2,45,750. <coughs> Total capital employed 2,45,750. Let us proceed for second part of balance sheet, application of funds. There first we have fixed assets. In fixed assets, we have 158,750 rupees fixed assets. There are no long term investments. So next will be working capital in working capital first we have current assets cash debtors prepaid expenses stock other current assets Total current assets we have 1,17,000. From this we are required to deduct current liabilities. Sundry creditors, outstanding expenses, these are current liabilities. Total current liabilities 30,000. From total current asset, we will deduct total current liabilities to arrive at working capital. Working capital is 87,000. We can add fixed assets and working capital to arrive at total assets. We have completed vertical balance sheet. Let us prepare now common size balance sheet. For that purpose, we are required to take total capital employed as well as total assets equal to rupees 100. Total assets 2,45,750. It is taken as 100. Total capital employed 2,45,750. taken equal to 100. Now each value in this balance sheet will be converted to make it common size. We are required to consider this total 2,45,000 
750 capital 164500 divided by 245750 multiplied by 100 66.94 percent reserves 25,000 divided by 2 lakh 45,750 multiplied by 100. 10.17 percent owners fund 1 lakh 89,500 divided by 2 lakh 45,750 multiplied by 100. Seventy-seven point one one percent loans fifty-six thousand two fifty divided by two lakh forty-five thousand seven fifty multiplied by hundred twenty-two point eight nine percent. Similarly, we can calculate for fixed assets one lakh fifty-eight thousand seven fifty divided by Two lakh forty-five thousand seven fifty multiplied by hundred sixty-four point six zero percent. In current assets, we have cash six seven five zero two point seven five percent. Debtors twenty-seven thousand seven fifty. Eleven point two nine percent prepaid expenses fifty five thousand twenty two point three eight percent stock twenty five thousand ten point one seven percent other current assets two thousand five hundred one point zero two percent. Total current assets one lakh seventeen thousand forty seven point six one percent. Now in current liabilities, sundry creditors ten thousand five hundred four point two seven percent. Outstanding expenses nineteen thousand five hundred. Seven point nine three percent. Total current liabilities thirty thousand. Twelve point two one percent. Working capital eighty seven thousand. Thirty five point four zero percent. Thus, according to requirement of the question, we have converted. Horizontal income statement as well as balance sheet into vertical format, and then we have prepared common size income statement and common size balance sheet, non-company type of business. It may be proprietary business. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.